Hello, hello. Ready for a little slow and gentle yoga today. So I had a request to work on low back and feet. Um, feel free to make requests, by the way, on Messenger. You can text me, you can email me, um, whatever. And I'd be happy to do whatever you'd like for a class. So today we're gonna use possibly a chair that's gonna help with balance, or if you like to stay seated in the chair rather, rather than on the floor, just get a nice hard back chair. Folding chairs work great because they're nice and light. And then also some type of strap. So this is a yoga strap. You don't have to have a yoga strap though. You can use a dog leash, you can use a towel, you can use like a pair of yoga pants or um, sweatpants. Anything that's about arm's length will be fantastic. So bringing your strap, find a comfortable seat either in your chair or on your yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, just right on the floor or your chair. So any comfortable seated position, meet me there. So keeping in mind one of our main goals, it's always one of my intentions when I teach a yoga class, is to feel better when we're finished than when we started. So if anything hurts or doesn't feel right, feel free to modify that, skip it, do something else. If you wanna kick it up a notch, you can do that. If you wanna kick it down a notch, you can do that. So finding any comfortable seated position definitely doesn't have to look like mine. And keep in mind, you can be sitting in a chair as well. We're gonna wiggle those sit bones around, let our legs get nice and heavy. And then with an inhale, we're gonna line our rib cage up with our hips, shoulders up with those ribs, and then maybe slide those heads back so our earlobes are over our shoulders. Back is nice and long. Closing your eyes. Start that nice, long, deep breath. Setting your intention for class. I set a group intention. We're gonna work on those backs and feet. We'll move everything a little bit. But why are you practicing yoga today? Maybe it's physical, emotional, spiritual. Maybe it's something you're hoping to get more of. Maybe it's something you're hoping to get less of. Just thinking about what brought you to this place this time right now. And next, inhale, let those eyes float back up. As you exhale, take that right hand, sweep it behind your back. So it's helping you sit nice and tall. Left hand can come towards that right knee. Turn that belly button right, shoulders right, finishing off with that head. Next, exhale, let those shoulders relax, legs relax. Stay twisted, inhale, get a little taller. Exhale, let can relax. Inhale, head comes back to center first, then those shoulders and those hips. Give a little wiggle, see how that feels. And then we'll try the other side. So inhale, sweep that left arm around. It's gonna help you sit up nice and tall. Right hand comes towards that left knee. Belly button turns, ribs, shoulders, Finally, the head turns. Then exhale, let those shoulders melt down your back. Inhale, can you sit up any taller? Exhale, can you relax? And then with an inhale, head comes first to center. Then the rest of your body. Give that a little wiggle. Arms come down by your side. Inhale, sweep those wings up. Exhale, palms down, arms down, legs relax. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, those arms down. We're gonna add a fold. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, hinge at the hips, folding forward. 
speaking of hips, get those sit bones on the floor or on your chair and wiggle those hips. Wiggle those shoulders. Bring that left hand on the floor. Inhale, lift that right shoulder. Maybe that right arm lifts up a little bit. Exhale, bring it back down. Push into that right hand. It could be on your leg if you're seated. Inhale, lift that left shoulder. Maybe lift that left arm a little bit. Exhale it back down. Inhale, part way up, long spine. Walk yourself towards the right. And then when you're ready, exhale, melting down here. Left arm reaches way out. Keep it long, sneak that right arm out too. Big, deep breaths. Let that left sit bone be heavy. Right hand comes in line with our right hip. Inhale that left arm up and over. Reaching it long. And then as you exhale, sweep that left arm down. Inhale it up and around. Feeling free to bend that left elbow. You can make these big or small, whatever that spine needs. Next time you're reaching up and over, stay there, reach even longer. And then with an inhale, let those wings bring you back up. Ah, exhale and down. If your legs are crossed or you have one straight, one bent, reconfigure if that feels okay. Again, legs are heavy, crown of our heads light. Hands on our thighs or on the floor. We're going to exhale, sweeping down to the right, through center, left to come up. These can be big or small. If just neck circles or head circles or shoulder circles would better serve you, feel free to do that. If you can find that sore spot or spots, you can stay there and wiggle and breathe. Next time you're coming towards that left leg, Switching directions. So we'll come to the right on our way up, left on our way down. Again, involving or uninvolving, whatever body parts need a break or need that movement. Next time you're sitting up tall, staying there. Imagining you have a nose laser, and then we're going to draw circles on the wall in front of you. So that head's not going to tilt way up. We're going to keep that spine, the back of our neck, nice and long. If you find any snap, crackly, poppy parts, feel free to stay there a little bit longer. You can kind of wiggle back and forth on that part of your arc. And next time that nose is pointed to the bottom of your circle, switch directions. Again, the back of that neck stays nice and long. And next time your head's looking down, let it stay there. Back is tall, hands can sit on that head, just adding a little bit of weight. So we're not gonna pull on the neck. And then with an inhale, open up those elbows, push your head back into your hands, shoulder blades slide towards your hips. Are you breathing? That's the only thing you have to do. We're going to move between these two positions a little bit faster. So with your next exhale, chin drops to chest. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, chin towards your chest. Inhale, open it up. One more time. This time 
gonna reach those arms up, little back bend here, and then exhale them down. We're gonna try another leg position if you're sit sitting on the floor. If you're sitting in your chair, just stay how you are. Maybe bringing the bottoms of those feet together, letting the knees fall open. If you feel like you're sitting back on your tailbone and kind of hunched over, sit something under those hips so your hips are higher. If this is just not the pose for you, but a Kanasana cobbler's pose, feel free to come back to any comfortable seated position. We're gonna try and get into those shoulders a little bit more. So bring those arms back to the behind the head. As we exhale, we're gonna look down. This time, inhale up and right. Really bring that right elbow back, back, back. Next, exhale, look down. Inhale, up and left. Left elbow goes back, 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 back. One more time. Exhale, look down. Inhale, up and right. Maybe reach that right arm out. Exhale, look down. Inhale, up and left. Reach that left arm out. Exhale, look down. Inhale, sitting up tall again. Sneaking those feet a little further away. Maybe give Baddha Konasana another shot. Then we're gonna bring our hands to holding on to those feet or maybe those ankles, maybe those knees. And then we're gonna pull so that spine gets long, heart comes forward. Leaning, bending from the hips. You'll know when you got there. And feel free to wiggle that head. Wiggle those hips, really little movements. Wiggle those shoulders. Turning it into more of a turtle pose as we inhale, pull on those legs, lengthen that spine. Stick your little head out of your shell. As you exhale, let that spine round, curl back in the shell. Inhale, lengthen the back, peek out. Exhale, tuck back in. One more time, inhale, reach it out. Exhale, let that spine round so we're safe in our shells. Wiggle those shoulders, wiggle those hips. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Finding your strap. We're gonna sit so our feet are on the mat and we're gonna practice an upper back bend here so that we're taking the back bend out of our low back because our low back's already really bendy and sometimes that creates some back pain. So we're gonna put the middle of whatever our apparatus is right across the chest, so the breastbone, and then thread those hands back behind you. Fingers can turn back or forward, whatever feels good. And then we're gonna push into the strap with our chest. So we're bending that upper back. Head and neck are in alignment, so we're looking straight up, not to the side. Push up a little harder onto that strap. And then exhale, relax. Dropping the strap towards the middle of your mat. Hugging those knees in or bending over those legs if you're sitting in your chair. Tuck up into a nice tight ball. Spine is rounded. Wiggle here. If you like to sit in your chair or it's time to move there, feel free to sit in your chair. Feet about shoulder width apart or come into hands and knees in the table. <laughs> Gentle bend in those elbows. A little bit of cat-cow here. As you inhale, belly soft. Tail comes up. We're gonna stay in cow, take some extra breaths. See if those sit bones will move away from each other. See if those shoulder blades can slide down your back and come towards each other. Elbows still have a bend. Chin just follows in line with our spine, so it's slightly up. Then we're gonna bring our sit bones towards each other, tuck that tail under, arch through that spine, head gets to hang heavy,
heavy, still a bend in those elbows. Shoulder blades are moving apart now. Then we're gonna follow our breath if that speed matches what your body needs. Inhale, coming to cow, belly soft. Sit bones move apart. Exhale, coming to cat. Belly button to spine. Inhaling cow. Exhaling cat. Gonna get fancy. Inhale cow. This time as you exhale the cat, come left and then up. As you inhale the cow, come right and then down. So if we were inside a wine barrel or a whiskey barrel, I guess it could be a water barrel. We could clean it with our body. I definitely miss the smart aleck comments. Next time you're in cow, we're going to switch directions. We're going to come left on our way up to cat. We're right on our way up to cat, excuse me. Left on our way down to cow. Elbows get at least a little bend, but a great big bend might feel even better. The next time you come to cow, stay there, but turn it into a table. So now we just have that natural curve in our low back. We're not letting our belly hang heavy. So that core is activated, which if you don't know what that means, imagine you're about to get tickled, get your belly ready. Curl your toes under behind you, squeeze those heels towards the midline. Then we're gonna sit back, buns towards our heels, push into those hands. That might be enough of a foot stretch. If it is, stay right there. If you can handle a little more weight, you might be able to sit up tall on those heels, or maybe you need to sit up on your knees. So we're looking for a foot stretch. If you found pain and agony instead, find a new position. If you have any little toes, sometimes my little toes don't reach the mat. You can help them out. Heads in line with our spine, not tilted one way or the other. Big, deep breath. Working your way back to hands and knees. If you're seated, you're just curling those toes under to stretch them. And then get those feet in a pointed position. Tap them on the floor. Coming back onto your bottoms, whether you're in your chair or on the mat, grab that strap. We're gonna do a little assisted boat here. So we're gonna wrap our strap around the bottoms of our feet, either the balls or the arches. And then we're gonna slide those hands back. We've got arm extenders. We're gonna recline back so that core is engaged. Knees are bent. This might be your spot. This might be a lot of work, or maybe those feet float up a little. Knees can be bent, that's less weight on the core, or they can be straightish. If you're feeling really feisty, you can be strapless. Are you breathing? Next, exhale, feet come down. Grab onto those knees. This time, sit up tall. Puff up that belly with air. And then working your way up to standing. You can also stay seated in your chair. Just leaving that strap mid-mat-ish. And then if you like to have a chair to help you with balance, you're gonna bring that to the top of your mat. I'm gonna scooch back so my head doesn't get cut off, because that sounds pretty awful. And we're gonna do our half salutations here. So standing far enough back from your chair that when you lean forward, you can hold on, but you're not gonna give it a headbutt. Fan and flex those toes. Really lift them up. Gentle bend in the knees. Now bring just your baby toes onto the mat. Keep the baby toes down, bring the next smallest toe down. Now those middle toes. Now the pointer toes. So I'm getting a thumbs up with the feet. Now those big toes. If your toes kind of turned into claws, reach them longer. Gentle bend in the knees so that we can wiggle those hips. 
Inhale, sweep those wings up. Grab that right wrist as you exhale, side bend left. Stay here, right shoulder comes back. Push into that left foot, stick your right hip out. Inhale, get tall, oh yeah. Switch sides, hold on to that left wrist. Exhale, side bend right, left shoulder back. Push into that right foot, stick that left hip out. Inhale, back up. As you exhale, hands come to your hips or your low back. Imagine that strap is across your chest again, so we're not gonna bend the low back, we're gonna bend the upper back. With an inhale, push against your imaginary strap. Open up that back, heads in line with our spine, it's not tilted, elbows are coming back, chins sliding back. As you exhale, hands get to slide down your legs or walk them down that chair. If you're seated, you're gonna bend right between those legs. Hands might come to your thighs or they might make it to the floor. When you get where you're going, hands on the mat, hands on your chairs, hands on your legs, wiggle that head, wiggle the shoulders, wiggle the hips. Now push into those feet with an inhale, lengthen that back. Walk those hands up a little higher, maybe on your chair or your legs. Buns are going back. Check out those toes if you got claw toes. Lengthen them back out. Now slide those shoulder blades towards your hips. Crown of your head reaches away from your sit bones. Back is so nice and long. Bend those knees even more. Stick those buns further out. Push into those feet even more. With an inhale, stand up nice and tall. Ah, exhale those hands to mountain pose. We're gonna move that a little bit faster. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Grab that left wrist. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, reach it up. Switch sides, exhale, side bend left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hands to hips or low back. Get that imaginary strap across your chest. Inhale, push against it. Exhale, fold, nice and slow. Once you slide past those knees, make sure they're bent. So we want our body close to our legs. Bend those knees so that can happen. Wiggle the head, wiggle the shoulders, wiggle the hips. Push into those feet. Slide those hands higher on your legs or on your chair. Nice flat back. Let your heart melt down towards the mat. Buns are going back, crown of our heads long, pushing forward. Gently wiggle your tail here. See if you can feel those hamstrings stretch. Bend those knees even more, pushing into your feet. Inhale, standing nice and tall. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Up, back and down. If that floor seems like a long ways away, we're gonna bring our floor extender, also known as the seat of our chair. So flip that guy around. We're gonna come into a nice wide-legged straddle. So feet are off of our mat, nice and wide apart, however wide feels safe. If toes like to turn out, just do a little test. Make sure the knees are going the same direction as the toes. Move the toes if they don't match up. So again, this is gonna help us put our hands on the chair. If you go all the way to the mat, that's just fine too. We're gonna inhale, reach those arms up, star pose. Reach, reach, reach. Sink those feet down. Exhale, hands come to our hips. We're gonna remind our hips we're bending from there, so we're not bending from our low back. Hinge at those hips, buns go back, chest comes forward. Hands can stay on our hips. They can come to the seat of our chair or they might come to the mat. If your knees are locked, give them a bend. 
And then we're gonna wiggle those hips again. Big deep breaths. Little bit of an inversion. If you're getting dizzy, bring that chin higher. Push into those feet, bend those knees, big bend, wiggle those hips. Push into those feet, inhale your way, standing tall. This time we're gonna twist. So we're gonna bring that right hand down to the seat of our chair, or maybe all the way to the floor. Remember, you can be seated in your chair. Flex those toes, knees get to bend as much as they want, and then inhale, that left shoulder reaches up. Maybe left arm joins it, totally optional. Inhale, get longer here. Exhale, that left arm back down, wiggle those toes. Flex the feet again. Inhale, right shoulder reaches up, belly button turns right. Maybe right arm comes up, your choice. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, that arm back down. So we've got both hands on the floor of the chair. Wiggle those toes. Push into those feet. Standing all the way up nice and tall. Heel toe those feet closer to under your hips. And then walk them back together. Staying seated in your chair or standing behind your chair, or if that balance is cooperating today, you might not need a chair at all. We're gonna do some foot exercises, and we're gonna do a little bit of pulsing. So, we're gonna bend those knees, and then we're gonna keep the knees bent. We're just gonna lift the heels, and bring them down. Lift the heels, bring them down. So my knees are bent. Core is engaged. Snap, crackle, pop. Next time those heels are up, keep them up. We're gonna straighten the legs, bend the legs. Straighten the legs, bend the legs. Only using that chair for balance, however much you need. Maybe it's just fingertips. Maybe you're holding on for dear life. Next time those knees are straight, keep them straight. We're gonna lower the heels, but don't put weight on them. So we're gonna pop them right back up. Lower the heels, and up, lower the heels, and up. Core is helping us stand tall, heads in line with our spine. Next time those heels come to the mat, let them rest. Shake out the legs. We're gonna reverse that, but this time we're not gonna pulse. So we're gonna bring those heels up, Keep them up, bend those knees. Keep the knees bent, heels come down. Straighten the legs, heels go up. Bend the knees, heels come down. Straighten the legs, heels up. Bend the knees, heels come down. Straighten the legs, two more. Heels up, bend the knees, heels down. Straighten the legs, last one. Bend the knees, heels come down. Straighten the legs, shake them out. Then come to standing on your right foot. Left toes are gonna come out behind us, stretching that pointed position. If you peek back over your left shoulder, it's gonna be the easiest way. We wanna see our heel and toes right in line with that shin, so our heels not sticking one direction and toes the other. Putting as much weight on there as you need for a stretch. If you're not getting a very good stretch, maybe bring that foot closer to under your hips. And then check on those hips. If you're kind of like you have a baby on the hips, sticky to yowie, bring it into alignment. There you go. And then pick up that left knee, roll that left ankle. If you can let go of whatever you're holding on to, let go. If not, that's fine. Roll it the other direction. Bring that left foot down, bend and straighten the knees. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, when we practice, it's a little 90 degree angles there. Roll those wrists. 
Check your knees. Do they have at least a little bend in them? Check your belly. Is it ready to be tickled? Roll it the other direction. And then flick those wrists or hands. Arms come back down to our legs or holding onto that chair. Putting that weight into that left foot. Bring those right toes behind us. Take a peek over that right shoulder. We want our toes, shins, heels all in a nice line so we don't have toes and heels opposite directions. So we want a safe stretch there. Again, if it hurts, take weight off. If you need more weight, slide that foot closer to under your hips. If it's like you're holding the baby on your left hip, bring that left hip back. Nice and tall. Breathing ever so regal. Bringing that right foot out in front of you, just barely off the mat, roll that ankle. Nice deep breaths. Other direction. <laughs> and bring that foot down. Bend and straighten the knees. This time, interlace those hands, bend the elbows, inhale up and over, lift those palms towards the sky, slide those earlobes back so they're in line with your shoulders, hands back, not chin forward, chin back. As you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows. To inhale, straighten this symbol. Exhaling, bending. Inhaling, straightening. Two more. Exhale those arms down. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Up, back and down. And then we're going to stretch the backs of those legs. So coming with that left foot right by your chair, if you've got one. Holding on to your chair if you so please. Big step back with the right foot. Stay on the ball of the right foot so all 10 toes are pointed forward. Left knee is bent, right leg straight. Drop that right heel towards the floor. Probably won't reach. If this is your spot, stay right here. If you need a little bit more, lean it forward, hinging at the hips. And then no matter where you are, bring that left hip back. If you're seated in your chair, that right leg is out in front of you, toes are flexed. You can still lean forward. It'll give you that same stretch. Are you still breathing? You are now. Push into that front foot. As you inhale, stand up tall. Push off that back foot. Step it forward. Now our weight's on that right foot. Big step back with the left leg. If you're in your chair, left leg's coming forward. All 10 toes face forward. Lower that back heel. If you're seated, flex that front foot. Right leg's got the bend. Maybe bigger bend. Maybe lean it forward, hinging from the hips. Maybe right hip comes back. Are you breathing? Pushing into that front foot, stand up tall. Push into that back foot, step it forward. Shake them out. Then we're gonna work our way to seated. You get to choose if you would like to lay on the mat or if you'd like to sit in your chair. Either one's an option. Make sure as you work your way there, you have your strap. So we're gonna do this either lying down or seated in our chair. So if you want to catch that right foot before you head down on your mat, give them a catch. Working your way down, activate that left leg. So left toes are flexed, legs nice and active like you're standing on it. Then we're going to bring that right leg towards the sky, trying to hold on low enough to whatever we've got to hold up that our shoulder blades can rest on the mat. 
If you have a dish towel or something and have to reach up higher, that's okay. Flex those right toes too. Right knee gets to bend as much as it wants. Imagine that those right toes are eventually gonna come all the way up over your head, touch the floor back there. You can only do that trick once though, so I wouldn't suggest doing it today. That was a joke. Oh, oh you're laughing. Oh. oh, I think I heard you. Now we're gonna transfer our apparatus, whatever our strap is, to the right hand. Left hand sits on that left hip. Let your right leg fall open. So it's moving towards the floor and towards your head. Definitely breathing. All 10 toes are active. Pushing on that left hip if that left butt cheek's leaving the mat. Big deep breaths. And we're gonna go on a search for the IT band. He's a sneaky guy. So as you inhale, right leg comes back to center. Hold on to your strap with your left hand. Flex all those toes again. And then slowly cross that right leg over, looking for a stretch on the outside of that right leg. Probably won't take it real low. Take your right hand, stick it right in that little crease where your thigh meets your hip, and then push. That's gonna bring your sit bones a little closer to the top of your mat. Big deep breaths. Bringing with an inhale that right leg back to center. Then we're gonna bring that left leg up there too. Holding onto those straps, helping those feet stay there. Knees can bend as much as they want. Give the hips a wiggle, relax that low back. Give those legs a wiggle. wiggle. And we're gonna reconfigure. So right knee comes out on your mat. If you're like me, you might have to wiggle and squirm around so you have room for that leg. Flex those right toes. And then encourage that left leg, like eventually those left toes are gonna come all the way up over your head, touch the mat back there. Again, trying to hold low enough on our strap, but our shoulders can relax. You can do this without a strap and just hold on to that thigh. But I think having something to hold onto that leg, strapish, feels good. Moving your strap into your right hand. Flex all those toes. Let that left, or into your left hand, I'm sorry. Same arm as leg. Let that left leg fall open. Right hand is on our right hip. Knees get to bend as much as they need to. Trying to keep that right butt cheek on the mat. Big deep breath. Inhale, bring that leg back towards center. Switch the strap, so now it's in that right hand. Flex all those toes, nice and slow. Let that leg cross over the body. Probably not going real low here, looking for that IT band. Next, inhale, bring that leg back to center. Bending those knees, bringing our feet to the mat, whether we're sitting or laying. Push into those feet. And then we're gonna really push into that left foot so that right leg can come up, however high or low you want. And then we're gonna roll that right ankle. Then we're gonna roll it the other direction. And we're gonna flex that right foot. So pull those toes back towards your nose, push that heel away, and then see if you can spread those toes wider. Now push through the ball of your foot, but still keep those toes working. 
and then point that full foot. Next, exhale, bring that right foot down, push into the right foot, that foot comes up however high you want, flex that foot, push through the heel, pull the toes back towards your nose, spread those toes out. Keep the toes working, push through the ball of your foot. Keep the toes working, point those toes though. So now you might feel that stretch in the front of your foot. Bringing both feet back down to the mat. Shake out those legs, let them get wiggly jiggly. Now you can do these next seated or on your back. They're little tiny movements. We're gonna try and make that low back happy. So as we inhale, we're gonna bring our right hip towards our right armpit so that right side of our body gets shorter. And then as you exhale, you come back to a neutral spine. Inhale, bring that left hip towards the left side of your body. So left armpit, shorten that left side. Exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, shorten that right side. Exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, shorten that left side. Exhale, back to neutral. Wiggle those hips. Now, different, if you're on your back, when you inhale, your hip is gonna come towards the sky, the front of your hip bone. If you're seated, that hip is gonna come forward. So inhale the right hip, either up or forward. Exhale it back to neutral. Inhale that left hip up or forward. Exhale back to neutral. One more time, right foot or right hip comes up or forward. Exhale it back. Left hip up or forward. Exhale it back. Wiggling those hips around. Push into those feet. If you're seated, push into your hands on your chair too. So those glutes come off your chair or off the mat and shake them out. Now we're gonna work our way into our final relaxation pose. So maybe flat on your back. When I teach this class live, lots of people like to bring that chair back and put their feet up on the chair with those knees bent. That's a nice soothing position for that low back. So coming into whatever position feels good. Letting those eyes fall back in the sockets. Jaws relax. When thoughts enter your mind, just let them float back out. Letting your breath do whatever it needs to right now. But when you notice yourself exhaling, you can let that be a cue to your body and your mind to just let go. time you find yourself inhaling, see if you can just bring in an extra little sip of air. And then as you exhale, make that breath even bigger, releasing that extra sip of air. Deciding if you want to stay right where you are, or if you want to work your way into a comfortable seat. Maybe bringing your hands to your heart center, laying them on your heart if you're still on your back. Or maybe coming to a prayer position. It's such an honor to spend this time with you. Feel 
hopefully you feel better than when you started. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me. See you soon.